Kenya is set to become the 21st country where global car maker Nissan manufactures its vehicles as the company looks to invest 2 billion shillings in a local assembly line. This will make it the eighth company to set up an assembly, assembling plant in the country. Here's Alex Mwangi with the details. Kenya's automotive industry is said to be growing at an estimated 11% per annum and is projected to hit a motorization rate of 56% by the year 2030 far outstripping Africa's rate of 42%. And with global vehicle manufacturers expressing interest in assembling locally, Nissan also wants a share of the pie. With Nissan having expressed interest in setting up an assembly line in Kenya, the owners is now on the Kenya government to set up a conducive environment with the automotive policy to enable it to do so, as this will enable the success of the Big Four agenda with regards to manufacturing. Because it impacts every one of those other three agendas. So uh, what is it that we need to do more is actually speed of execution. We have talked enough. The government is working on a national automotive policy that will see, among other things, a reduction of the age of imported used cars from the current eight years to five years later this year, then to three years by 2021. So it'll mean safer cars on the road and it'll mean cleaner cars on the road in Kenya if, if there is this kind of limitation. The policy requires the creation of an institutional, legal and regulatory framework for its implementation, failure to which Kenya's automotive sector could be confined to the doldrums. Currently, None of Kenya's three motor vehicle assembly plants utilize more than 35% of their capacity. The Associated Vehicle Assemblers in Mombasa has a capacity utilization of 35%. Isuzu East Africa Limited in Nairobi is at 23%, while the Kenya vehicle manufacturers based in Thika is at 2%. KVM, I think, was built to assemble 6,500 vehicles a year, single shift. But uh, if you look at our output now, we hardly do more than 400 vehicles in a year. So the business is really low. Nissan will first assemble pickup trucks from semi-knockdown kits on condition that the government agrees to waive a 25% import tax. The company will submit a proposal to the government once market studies and due diligence assessments have been completed and may have an operational assembly line by the end of this year if it receives a green light. Alex Mwangi, NTV.